I'm at five, but I had a lot of laps today. So you just did 511 your first lap, dude. That's freaking fast. Wait till this thing cools down, we do one more lap. I'll turn it up. Let's go. All right, are you ready? No, we got, we gotta let it cool down. You run it, you run it out of daylight. I'll run it with lights. Okay. All right, so he's got 217. Belt temps are a little high. Yeah. Wow, that was freaking nuts, man. Max Gordon, man. Pro race car driver, freaking. Comes out to the track. Lays down almost a record time on his first lap. And uh, he's driving the El Diablo. He's got 35s on this car. Straight out of King of the Hammers. Well, he probably was coming out here saying, oh yeah, Max is just gonna crush you. And Max is like, dad, shut up. <laughs> and he crushed us. No, he hasn't crushed you yet. So, yeah, that's really impressive. All right, man. So we are the survivors here. I'm, I'm out here. My son was laying on the Ray's over there. <laughs> Ray's over there. My son was laying on the trailer. Uh, we got Butch out here and Brent's out here. We've had some carnage today. Dallin was trying to beat my time in the Mav R. We kind of figured out a little science putting a spare tire on, and then it's let's go see. Let's go see what, what he was throwing out a really good hot lap. And then been the fastest ever. And then he almost killed me because I did almost kill check this that. out. Bolt came right out of my A-arm. Bolt came out of the A-arm and he his car came right at me. So we've been out here all day. We've had a great day. We were supposed to start racing around 8.30. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of our racers have left. We were gonna do a big old money grab pot. Everyone put in a hundred bucks. Bracket race is gonna be really fun. It's gonna be kind of an epic day and uh, not happening because everyone has left at this point. They've all done their hot laps and people had places to go. I mean, the plan was to be here at 8.30. Robbie got tied up with business. And traffic and business. It, is, and it just is what it is. You know, that just happens. But he is here. We, we were legitimately loading our cars up on the trailer and Max calls, he's like, dude, we are coming. Like, we're getting in the truck in five minutes. Will you just wait? And I was like, we will wait. Let's all right. see this. So, so how epic is it for Max and Robbie to be racing on the four mile track. Like, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And they're excited, even, even they're though, excited too. Even though we've butted heads a little bit and whatnot, um, this is pretty cool. Like, it'd be, it's awesome to get a pro driver out here, really throwing down the track and really seeing like what the capabilities, like at the end of the day, I'm super ticked that Chad beat me on my track time we're not going to say that time yet, but um, <laughs> I am ticked. I'm analyzing every corner. He's depressed. He's not ticked. He's yeah. He, um, it's depression. Massive depression, especially when I can't go back after it and try to, you, you know, did. match it. Well, I tried, but then my car broke. You did. You got within three seconds. Well, I tried, got within three seconds, and then tried again because we put the tire on there, and I was definitely moving. And and I won because of and science. I, I don't know why I haven't even tried to put Old Faithful out there, but I don't know why not. But, but Old Faithful's going out with uh, the Gordons tonight. Yeah. So I mean, they're just right now we're just right now we're just fighting against time because you can see time and sun. the sun. So I mean, I'm probably not going to throw any hot laps down. We're going to kind of just let them have the track and let them run the laps and see what some pro drivers can do. And that's Max and Robbie. I mean. At the end of the day, I'd love to say that I'm a great driver, but Robbie and Max can outdrive me all day. Yeah, we we had one guy already wanting to put up a bet against me that he'll they'll beat me. I was like, Dude, they'll probably beat me in a rhino. I'm not I'm not betting against them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, if you want to do like a, a time, like you know, Robbie has told Chad, you know, he's hoping for about 4:30 on the track. Um, you know, our fastest times on the track so far between us is five. Um, I would be willing to put money out of 450 because Robbie's kind of said, you know, that 20 to 30 second range is kind of what he did on Instagram. Right. said he's got us by 20, 30 seconds, right? So 20 seconds off of the Yeah, I think if we're within 20 seconds of a pro driver in his car that he built, you know, so, it may be a little bit rocked. It may be a little clapped out like a couple of my cars. 
<laughs> but you know it is what it is the good news is is we're just gonna see and it's, it's kind of cool just to you know I'd love to get some huge huge heavy hitters to come out here and run against us I mean I have the advantage it's my track um, they have the advantage I mean the heaviest hitter has been Josh Blaylock he's uh probably the fastest the best driver you could say that's hit the track has yeah. been Josh okay you're good Because he's done a lot of real races, um, and, he, and he has peaked out the Turbo S. He's peaked out. He, the, he's not the even. Turbo he's S done. Sport. After today, he's done. He won't even try to. Before it was like, okay, if I beat him, he was coming back to try to beat me. But now with me and Chad's time in the Mavar, he's like, it's. He, I, I have to like, have a bigger it's motor. It's new car time. Yep. I have to have a bigger motor. So, the Mavars are pretty fast, but they can break. He's super stoked to to come out here. Yeah. He's uh he was doing 90 miles an hour. Yeah, he's doing 90 <laughs> so, to get here. I mean, we started at 8:30. It's what what time is it? 5 5:30? 5:47. So he's going to be here around 6. Yep. We've been out here since 8:30. Um most everybody's left. But this is awesome. We're going to see what Max and Robbie can do. Diablo. Max and Robbie have showed up and they brought the old Diablo. One of the cars from uh, King of the Hammers. So here we go. All right, so Robbie, what do you think of the track? You... Tra the track's interesting. It's got it's got a bunch of different types of terrain. You know, it's got some sand wash, a lot of tight corners, like yeah. really tight, gutted out corners. Dude, he is sketching it out. Pretty heavily on the, on the corners, right? doesn't let off hardly at all. Well, it'll be interesting to see where the lap time is. I mean, this is, he did one slow one side, side lap. lap, and this will be his first flying lap. Yeah. 
the good thing is there's enough ruts where you can know where the track's at it, now. Yeah, exactly. When it's graded, you're like, okay, did I miss a corner? <laughs> yeah. Did I cut oh, across? Like the big risers, you know, like. Where, yeah, where those are. That's the hardest I, part. That's the hardest I struggle it? with. Yeah. Can I not send yeah. it? Yeah. That takes. Because there's like three or four of them you can send pretty good, but there's yeah. a couple that are like. <laughs> Oh, he jumped good right there. He went through those jumps good. I'm impressed on that. It's probably the last time I've seen someone go through that rhythm. Max coming through the S-curves right here. The dude is just sending it. Done like one side lap. <laughs> in the chatter section here pretty quick. Max is just regrading the track. Oh, got up on two wheels. Five flat. Five minutes flat. New track record. What is it? Five flat. He hit the culvert. Yeah. He hit something over here. I watched him. He hit something. It just kept going off. Well, you watch the desert. track doesn't mean a whole lot. He doesn't. It doesn't affect him as much as most of us. Dude, it handled it really well. Remember that one? It's like a double, double. Yeah, cleared the whole thing and landed in the face of the other. Yeah, he, your dad's like, I think he just landed on the bottom. Yeah, all good. Everything's good. Dude, look. <laughs> I'm going to turn another one. That's funny. I'm going to turn the faster one. Dude. Go turn it. No, nah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> so come back you came like in me. one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when I, bring the, when I bring the car that I wanted to bring, we'll turn it up again. 
Dude, you you were ripping out there. Your commitment to those corners, just amazing, oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. You just handled every corner like a champ. Dude, he. My son, my son is almost. That's dude, he came out of the one kicker, all when all you're, ski wampus, I, and he stayed on the throttle. I really just thought, I thought he was gonna go like a mile wide. I don't know how he kept it in the like on the track. <laughs> it was like off filter. So yeah. when it lands, it just goes over the yeah, and it, and it, it doesn't, out, it doesn't get the tire. It doesn't get the tire. I call that a fifth spring. We can control okay. four of them, right. we can't control the fifth one. Okay. Yeah, that that was what I thought was impressive. I'm not going to enjoy it like, oh, I'm just, he's never been on I would have said fast. I would have said it was faster. I would say another 15 seconds. Yeah. But you definitely can get. I mean, more time. I think the Bandit on 32s. You think a Bandit would do better than Diablo? On this track, it's all short. Just because it's shorter? No, 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 we wouldn't, we don't go faster than that. We just go faster than that. Well, we saw that, but we don't, we don't ride in them. You don't ride in them? No, we just cross them. Oh. Yeah, that first, I was like, oh, I figured he'd want to do a couple practices, but he was like, Epic day out at the track. It is late at night. I dirty as all get out, but I gotta hurry and get this to you guys. I know a lot of people are wanting to know, but Speed UTD. Robbie brought out his big weapon, which is Max. Threw down a five flat. It was amazing. Watching him drive was impressive. And mad props to Chad. A 505 in the Mav R. I am now third. I've never been <laughs> third ever. Uh, usually if someone beats me in the next within that day I'm beating them back so this is really quite the burner it's a lot of depression I might not sleep well for the next week or two because I am now in third but Josh mad props there too at a 511 in a turbo s goes to show how much a driver makes a big difference out here because me and Chad obviously suck because we got a turbo s on our heels and speed UTV right there beating us like dude mad props to these guys they can drive I'm a 5.11 in the Pro R, but stay tuned. We got Chad Speed comes out. He threw down a hot lap. Also, we had a couple more DNS today. We had some dudes put it on their side. Things got wild and out of control. We were going to do this big bracket race, but um, Max and uh, Robbie weren't able to get out there until a lot of the guys had to leave. So we just ended up doing some hot laps, uh, some time laps like that. But thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks for these guys coming out. Mad props to everybody. They threw down. Thanks for having fun with us. We love racing, everybody. That's what it's all about. So stay tuned, subscribe. That way you can see some more of the stuff that just happened today. Just can't get it all on one video. If you need MTS suspension, click on the link below and get you 10% off on your suspension. And they do an amazing job. My Mavar is 10 times better now. The only thing that will make us happier is if you like and subscribe. Ah! Ah! Anybody else is hard to Holy s! <laughs> ah! Hell yeah. <laughs>